Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to Rashard with the reactions. Today we're actually doing a request. Walking home from school from Bruce Do Films. So yeah, let's see what type of shenanigans he gets tied up in on his way home. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's dive on in. Alright, now when I was a kid, I walked to and from school. And I've noticed that not many kids do that anymore because, well, the world's a dangerous place these days. People like to snatch kids up off the street. Yeah. Now maybe it was different in the 90s. Or maybe my parents just didn't care all that much. Oh, they're fine as long as they stay in groups. Who's going to be able to stuff four kids in a van all at the same time? Besides, if anyone gets kidnapped, it'll be the dumb one in the Scotty Pippen jersey. Isn't that right, Michael? I once pooped in my cat's litter box. You see, they'll be yeah. fine. And the walk to school was not very interesting in general. But we would play a game called field goal. And how you play field goal is, you run up behind somebody and you kick them in the ass. Kind of like you're kicking a fucking field goal. It's not a very complex game. I mean, there's only one rule, and that is that you have to yell field goal right before you do it. Just to give that person a split second to tense up and realize, oh, I'm about to get a size 4 filo right up my asshole. So we pretty much kick our own asses all the way to school, and that was that. Now the walk home from school was totally different. Class is over, it's time to get your ass home. Pokemon's on at 4 o'clock, goddammit, I gotta get out of here. Now on our journey yeah, home, there were a few landmarks that we would pass. Of course, the first one would be the porn shop that was 100 yards from the school. Oh, sick, look at that pervert. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> and after that, we would be at the corner of the road where Linda the cross guard lady was. And Linda was a little off her hinges. She would say all these euphemisms and metaphors, and we wouldn't have the first idea what the hell she was talking about. It's a pretty nice day out today, ain't it? You could wax a water buffalo on a day like today. What the fuck is she talking about? Wow, Just don't look okay. at her. If you make eye contact, she keeps talking. Like my pappy used to say, how you gonna pet your porcupines if you got no pine tar? You know what I'm saying? No, Linda, mm -hmm. I sure as hell don't. I don't care how many porcupines I don't know what you're saying. I just want to cross the goddamn street. So from there, we head over to the Long John Silvers. Or more specifically, the dumpster behind the Long John Silvers. And it would be here where we would dare Michael to swim through the garbage for money. Michael, I'll give you a nickel if you doggy paddle your ass through the dumpster. A I'm nickel. a dirty little bastard. Sounds good to me. Whoopee! Oh my god, he actually did it. Michael, your ass is gonna get meningitis or some shit. I don't care, I'm rich as hell. Ooh, there's hush puppies in here. So after Michael's dumpster diving, sometimes, if we were feeling frisky, we'd actually go into the Long John Silver. But since we're nine years mm. old and we got a whole buck 47 among the four of us, there's not a whole lot we can buy. The only thing that we can get is a box of crumbs. And if you don't know what crumbs are from Long John Silver's, well, it's where they take the leftover flaky and crispy parts from the fried fish, put it in a box, and serve it as a fucking side dish. Sure, it's disgusting, and it knocks a decade off your lifespan every time you eat a box, but again, we're nine years old, what the hell do we care? How much does it cost for a box of crumbs? Duh, how much do you got? Just this nickel I got from swimming through your dumpster? Jesus, you're a dirty little bastard, aren't you? I sure am. <laughs> Terrence, I need a box of crumbs, pronto. <laughs> crumbs? You mean the leftover fried batter? Yeah, that's it. Like the stuff that we scrape off and put in the garbage? Yes, Terrence, stop asking questions, they're gonna give us money for it. There you go, you sick little animals. If you're heart starts feeling funny, just eat more of them. Eat through the pain. So finally, wow. we get to our houses. We got our boxes full of fried bullshit. These things are so good, it feels like my blood's going in slow motion. Hey, Michael, feel cool. <laughs> I thought they only God played that it, on the way to school, like not home. Ah, oh, shit, sorry. Uh, I'll give you a nickel if you eat them off the ground. Sounds good to me. You're on. Well, at least he's going to have some money for crumbs the next day. But like Bruce Dew said, walking to school is very dangerous nowadays. And I would argue it was very dangerous back in those days too, because there's two things that come to mind for me, excluding the potential kidnappings, right? So the first thing is that on your way home from school, you can meet some unsavory people who lead bad lifestyles. And with enough run-ins with that person, they could try and pull you into their bad lifestyle. And then the second thing is just the shenanigans that kids get into, right? So just like they would stop by the dumpster on their way home, that to me would be shenanigans that would lead to some type of detriment later for the children. But shout out to Bruce Dew and his friends for getting back and forth to school safely. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments below. And also let me know if you used to walk to school. Were your walks to school as eventful as Bruce Dew's? Let me know. And that's today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.